Hello everyone, today's video is about how to get those super finicky mods that just kind of throw a bunch of errors or maybe crash, how to get those to work and actually cooperate with your other custom content and your mods. Now this video isn't an end-all be-all video of how to fix your mods. I am not a super techie person, I don't have all the answers, but I do have some strategies on how to get that stubborn mod to work for you. The method I'm going to show you today is called the 50-50 method and it really is the strategy you want to use if you have a lot of custom content and mods that could be conflicting with a clunkier, more stubborn mod. So if you've had mods for a while, you know that there are some that are a bit more stable, they change very little between updates, and very rarely give you problems. I think of MC Command Center when I think of this type of stable mod, but there are others that are a little bit more stubborn and high maintenance. The one that comes to mind is Wicked Whims. I put out a video on how to download and install Wicked Whims, and there are a lot of people who have issues that prevent them from using the mod properly. I don't have all the answers to those questions, so this method is for that situation when you are trying to put in a more stubborn mod with all of your other mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a temporary folder for all of the mods that you have now and you want to keep. So we'll open our file explorer and navigate to our mods folder. Go to our documents, electronic arts, the sims 4, mods. And you'll see that I have a number of mods that I like to play with and within the folders that I've created to keep things organized there are a great deal more uh, mods and custom content. So if I don't want to lose any of these things or I know that I like this set of mods, I'm going to just copy that into a temporary folder while we mess with our mods folder. So if you want to select all of the things at once, you can click in the blank space and hit Control A on your keyboard. It highlights everything. To copy, you'll hit Control C on your keyboard or right click and do the cut button or the copy button. Once you have copied or cut the files, you want to go ahead and create a new temporary folder on your desktop. So navigate to your desktop and click new folder up here or right click in the blank space and hit new folder and what you name it is up to you just make sure you can find it I think I will call mine sims for temp mod folder Oops. Now I want to dump all of the folders and files that I have from my mods folder into here so we'll double click and open up and control V to deposit everything. So now this is basically our backup and we can go from there. What we'll do next is head back to our mods folder. I have mine on my quick access here and we can play with this folder delete files and know that we have a backup of everything just as it is. So I'm going to select everything and delete it. I know that seems scary, but now we have a blank canvas that we can add our kind of high maintenance mod to and then slowly add our other things back to see if we have any kind of conflicts. If you're on this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to download and install mods. If not, that's totally okay. I do have other videos that might be more helpful, so go ahead and check out my channel. If, however, you do know how to do that, go ahead and use this time and space to do that. I'll go ahead and put Wicked Whims. So here's Wicked Whims extracted and put into the proper place like it should be. However, she is my problem child, so I'm going to go ahead and 
before I do anything, I am going to run my game just like this. I do want to stress that you should be starting a new Sims game, like save, in order to test this out because if you're testing it out on your current household or your current saves, ones that you have the way you like them, a mismatch in your what your current mods are versus what was saved, like what you were using when you saved that or were playing that, will cause an issue for you. So make sure you are doing this with a new game or like a throwaway game that you're like, I don't really care what the, the mod settings or whatever were. And there should be zero issues with this mod in the folder by itself. If you have an issue, the rest of this video is not for you. If you don't have an issue, then let's proceed. If you've made it to this point, this is where you add back your content. So we'll go ahead and go to our desktop folder where we saved all of our other mods. And we'll just select them all. Control C to copy. Go back to our mods folder. Control V. Now, you'll want to keep your Wicked Whims mod in mind because we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that. But at this point, the reason this is called the 50/50 method is that you'll go ahead and run all of your mods with your Wicked Whims mod or your, your Problem Child mod. And if you have an issue that you didn't have when you ran Wicked Whims alone, you will move 50% of your content back into that temp folder. So here's, say I have an issue. So I will copy back this portion. I'll hit Control C and then move it over to my temp mod folder. We can delete all of the this other stuff since it's back in our mods folder. We'll hit Control V to paste that 50%. And then we'll go back to our mods folder and we know that we can delete that 50%. So I moved down to royalty. I'll delete that half and run the game with just this half. And if this half runs perfectly fine as if I'm running the mod all on its own, I know that the problem is in the other half. If, however, it does have an issue with just this half, I will now cut this portion in half. 50% in the temp mod folder, 50% in with your, your problem child mod, or whatever mod you're trying to test out for conflicts. So, so you will repeat that process of cutting a portion of your mods and custom content, control C, copy, moving it over to your temporary mods folder, control V, paste it, Go back to your mods, get rid of that, run it again. If you don't have an issue, you know that it was in the files that you just moved out into the temporary folder. If you do, however, still have the issue, you'll do the same thing. Cut part of it, and you're just basically narrowing down more and more where it is. So, normal, but that is the process that you'll follow. You'll cut the content in half. You'll put half into the temp folder and half in with your mod to run in your game. If you have a problem with the half in your mod folder, you know the problem is some kind of conflict with those files and not the ones in your temporary folder. So, I hope that helps. I know it's not the clearest, but I also don't want to make this the longest video. If you're still struggling with the 50-50 method, please let me know down in the comments. This really is the best method when you have a lot of content for making sure that your problem child mod, your stubborn high maintenance mod, 
works well with all of your other content. And it really helps you narrow in where the actual conflict may be. So if you're struggling still, let me know in the comments so that I can help to the best of my ability. Maybe make a video that shows a little more practically, like try to simulate an error so that it can fix that error with you guys in a video. If this was helpful, please also let me know down in the comments because I like to know I did a good job. Even if this wasn't everything you needed about the the 50-50 method, there are other resources. Like on Reddit, there are a lot of very helpful forums that can help you learn more about mods. I don't know everything. I'm kind of just winging it and passing along some of the very hard-earned knowledge that I have gained over the years. Thank you so much, y'all. Have a good day or night or whatever you're doing. Subscribe if you want. Don't subscribe if you don't want. Give me a like if this helped. Please don't give me any downvotes. Those make me sad. Uh, but I really like comments. Those are my favorite.